tonight on FYI, Understanding Annulment and Divorce. This news feature is brought to us by CBRC Bacol. With the passage of House Bill 7303, we may now possibly have two ways to legally end a marriage. These are divorce and annulment. While both have the same outcome of allowing people to be able to remarry, what makes these two different? Here are some fundamental differences between annulment and divorce. Understanding annulment and divorce. Number one, as stated earlier, there are two ways to legally end a marriage, annulment and divorce. While a divorce terminates a legal and valid marriage, an annulment means that the marriage was never valid in the first place. When people get a divorce, they are still recognized as having been married previously. An annulment, on the other hand, treats the marriage as though it never existed. Number two, in an annulment, one or more of the following general grounds or conditions should have been existing before the marriage took place. One, polygamy. When either party was already married to another person at the time of the marriage. Two, forced consent. When one of the spouses was forced or threatened into a marriage and only entered into it under duress. Three, fraud. When one of the spouses agreed to the marriage based on the lies or misrepresentation of the other. Four, incest. When marriage between parties that based on their familial relationship is considered incestuous. Five, mental illness. When either spouse was mentally ill or emotionally disturbed at the time of the marriage. Six, mental incapacity. Either spouse was under the influence of alcohol or drugs at the time of the marriage and was unable to make informed consent. Seven, inability to consummate marriage. When either spouse was physically incapable of having sexual relations or impotent during the marriage. Eight, underage marriage. When either spouse was too young to enter into marriage without parental consent or court approval. On the other hand, in a divorce, spouses may choose to file under two types of divorce, a no-fault or a fault-based divorce, on which grounds for divorce happen after or during the marriage. No-fault divorce allows a spouse to file for divorce without blaming the other spouse for the dissolution of marriage. The grounds for a no-fault divorce include 1. Irreconcilable differences 2. Irremediable breakdown and 3. Loss of affection In the second type of divorce, a fault-based divorce allows a spouse to file for a divorce on the grounds of the following 1. Adultery 2. Abandonment 3. Domestic violence and 4. Drug and alcohol abuse Number 3 when a marriage is annulled, the courts usually try to restore each party to his or her original financial state before the marriage occurred and each party keeps assets they own prior to the marriage. On the other hand, in a divorce, assets are divided between parties at a judge's discretion and alimony may sometimes be awarded to either party. Now that you know the difference between annulment and divorce, are you in favor of the Absolute Divorce Act? Comment your opinions below. Watch out for more educational features only here on CNL's FYI. We ask so you may know. We feature so you may appreciate. We inform so you may decide. We balance so you may judge. I am Paramisuli Aming and this is CNL's FYI. Good evening. CBRC Bacolod, located at with these contact number. Enroll now.